Hi everyone, it's Alex here from the career guidance company, How to Become. We recently had an influx of requests to create another electrical comprehension test, so here it is. In this video, I'll be going through some sample electrical comprehension test questions, which will be under time conditions. If you could put your answer to each question in the comments section below, and then I'll come back each day and get those marked for you. But before we jump straight in, I just want to lay down a few ground rules for this electrical comprehension test. So, there are 10 questions in total. You'll get 15 seconds to answer each question. And as I said before, put your answer to each question in the comments below. And if you're unsure about a particular question, feel free to ask and I'll be happy to help you. Right, so make sure you've got something with you to take some notes. Feel free to watch the video from beginning to end and then go over them again if you're running out of time, but just give it your best try. So, here we go and the best of luck. Question one, which of the following statements best describes Ohm's law? Okay, question two. What will the voltage be at point A if the battery is 12 volts? Question three, insert the two missing words from this sentence. Uh, voltage is a measure of the difference in blank blank between two parts of a circuit. The bigger the difference in energy, the bigger the voltage. Question four, in the following circuit, how many bulbs will illuminate if switches one and five close? Okay, question five, what is the resistance in this circuit? Question six, which electrical component is the following a description of? An output device which includes a coil of wire that subsequently creates a magnetic field when a current passes through. Okay, question seven. Car batteries are often 12 volts with six individual cells connected in a series. What is the voltage of each cell in the car battery? Question eight. Which of the following is not an effect of an electrical current? Okay, question nine. Below is a list of materials. Which of the following answers is in the correct order of ability to conduct electricity? Uh, so we should have the best conductor first and the poorest should be written last. So order from the best conductor to the worst. Okay, and the final question, question 10. What transfers from a carpet made from nylon to give off a static electrical shock? And that's the end of the test. Firstly, I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching till the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Good news is I've got some more free electrical comprehension test questions for you. I'd just really appreciate if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, all you have to do to get your hands on those test questions is click the link below the video 
and uh, you'll be able to access those anywhere on any device. Again, time conditions, and there's hundreds more to get your teeth into. Uh, so that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching.